<laughs> Hi everyone and welcome to our treasure home. Um Nancy and Anastasia. I started a few minutes early because you know technical issues all the time. But sometimes you hit that live button and it doesn't do anything. <laughs> Mommy, Dad got me the newest toy from Princesses and Princes. They did. It's a mystery machine. Oh wow! It's all. It has all the fun functions like in the show. So let me show you all around it. This opens up. Roof opens up. And then over here opens up. Here. Let me put it on the table so you can see. My little one moves on there. Oh, well, hold Especially on. the open cans. <laughs> Everything opens up. Hi. Hi, everyone. And then here's Princess Cinderella. Here's Princess Cinderella and Prince Fred, who who got married. And here's uh, here's Jack, Cinderella's little companion. Then here's their horse. It's Huga. Hi, Huga. There you go. <laughs> and then here's their horse. And then here's Belle. But she's out of date now because in the show, she's going to turn into a good princess. Right over here. Right here is their bed. Here are their pillows. And their blanket. Here's Jack's pillow. Jack can just lay on the back patio with his pillow and with the horse. Here's a little basket that Cinderella holds whenever she goes into town to buy things like food and fruit. I just said that my bell's now out date. She, cause in the shows she's an e evil duchess but now she's turning into a good princess so now mom and dad have to give me the new toy and now oh and puff well, and now in another show called puff well, oh, princess eunice get, has horn wings so mom and dad have to give me the horn wings you too is that right mm -hmm. okay i'm making stuff They're going into the forest so that they can find so they can find enough of different kinds of woods to make a house. To make a house, they need all kinds of wood. They need wood. They need soft wood, hard wood to make a house. Well, that's a lot of wood. Uh huh. All right. I hope everybody enjoyed that show. She is something else. She is so funny. Hi, Carrie. We watched it last night. You watched it last night? Uh-huh. Oh, wow. That's pretty good. Hi, Blue Nose. How y'all doing? All right. So, let me take that off the light. Anastasia's lunch is real quick and easy. It's leftovers from last night. They had Sloppy Joe's, and I miss Sloppy Joe's. Not we because of the cheese. hamburger. We had baked mac and cheese. And baked mac and cheese. So I'm going to use the leftover baked mac and cheese and change it up a little bit. So you want to bring me your plate? And she has bacon. Hang on. It's a, um, yeah, I can use turkey, ground turkey burger to make my um, sloppy joes. But the, the tomatoes and the peppers kind of, yeah, that really helps. No, but, put it in the plate. Look at that. Don't put it on my bed. 
bacon. I'm going to put it on your bacon. Is that enough? You want some more? More. More? More. I want all of it. You want all of it? Yeah. We have another tub. So I want. She getting all of it. Well, you better have a spoon or a fork or something to eat that with. <laughs> we'll see. Oh, yeah, you see. It's gonna I'm not going to have a spoon. <laughs> I'm not going to have a spoon or a fork. I'm going to have a spork. You can have a spork. I'm going to have a spork. She's got a spork. I got a spork. All right. So, what I'm going to do is. Sporky. And this front light is not working again. Oh, my goodness. It's been hilarious the last few nights. <laughs> so, I'm trying to cook. So, I got a cup of milk. Yes, I have the pan hot because it takes forever to heat up when I heat up the mac and cheese. So that's the mac and cheese that they made. They have these have noodles. Mac and cheese too? Yes, I'm fixing a little mac and cheese for both of us. So if you want to talk, what are you going to do? What are you doing? Eating. Eating. I see. You're going to be doing monk bang? <laughs> <laughs> so I'll bring that back up to, bring that back up to heat. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to cook, make hers a little bit. Because I don't know if she'll like what I put in it. I mean, she likes the food that we have. I don't know if she'll like it all together. Mm-mm. You don't? I don't I don't even want cheese in my mac and cheese. You only want cheese in your mac and cheese? Well then let me get the last one. So yes. They made a lot last night. Yummy. So they there's a lot left over. Oh goodness. So yeah, like I said, we're still used to, you know, we cook and feed our army. That's what my mom used to say. Cause she felt like it. Cause we can cook, and, and some people, people at church, would know exactly what night we would have spaghetti. So she would always make extra spaghetti. Hi, Mona. How you doing? She would make extra spaghetti because of that fact. Because people would step by just to have. Mona, their what did you do? Just tell us what did you do. Hey, Jay, how you doing? So that's what we say we feed the army because sometimes it felt like it. I don't want mac and and my mac and cheese. <laughs> I know. I don't know where they came up with the name. So, but uh. That's good, Joe. That's good. Yeah, last night was the first. Yesterday was actually the first day of no school work, no class connect. We had a meeting with the teacher. She's done awesome all year and everything. It was supposed. The time was eleven a.m. to twelve p.m. Yes, because there was three other people, so we didn't know which time if we would be first or we, well, were, we were first. So it was like fifteen minutes. She's has done great. She's going to the fourth grade. And then it's going to cry. No. So, you know. Yeah, thank you. I was very proud of her. She scored high in the math. She did high, average high, and, you know, high. She, yeah. We, by algebra and geometry. And I was just like, oh, my goodness. So, she's a very smart little girl. So, last night, we were, she goes, um, you know, I don't want you to be on the phone or the computer. I want us to watch the, watch the movies, you know. So I was like, okay. So at seven o'clock, I think it was on six o'clock, seven o'clock was the last time I posted anything, anybody being live or anything. I shut my computer off, put the phone down, and we watched some movies. So I was like, that was a much needed break. Watch? How many movies did we watch? No, what movies did we watch? What movies did we watch? Mm -hmm. Well, let's see here. What movies did we watch? We watched Rapunzel. Mm -hmm. Tangled. Tangled. What it's called, Tangled. 
and then we watched the Little Mermaid's The Beginnings. So Ariel's Beginnings. Ariel's Beginnings. That was pretty cool. Please watch Ariel's Beginning on Disney. It's actually a show, but it's actually, but it's really cool. It's an actual movie, but it's really cool. So we use Bio Life cheese. That just goes in the mac and cheese. Like now, that. if you want us, you can get a slice of cheese. Now I'm going to put this right in here. Oh, I want to show everybody who, how I eat slices of cheese. I want to show everybody how I eat cheese slices. Okay, I'm going to because um, I put this shredded cheese in there. They've been putting a slice of cheese in there, and then I think they just cut them up and then put it in there and let it melt. So I still use the shredded cheese. To me, that's just easier. Would you like this in a separate bowl? Yes. All right. This is how I eat my slices of cheese. <laughs> like a little mouse. Like a little mouse. Like a little mouse. That's pretty cool. Alrighty. Oh, sorry. I need to slam that. Hi, guys. Stay Gardner. Alright. Let me watch out. This is her mac and cheese. Just all reheated. Uh, um, Perfect. You're welcome. Did put that cup of milk in there because it you know, dry up a little bit. So you want something to reconstitute it. So I'm going to put that on low. I'm going to add some carrots. And a little bit of butter beans. I know that's an odd combination. But I had no peas up here, and I didn't feel like going downstairs to go get any. And I'm like, well, let's see what we got up here. So my goal is for the next at least six months, maybe not that long, or it could be that long, um, to start using up things that we don't actually eat anymore. So like noodles, um, we don't, we do eat carrots and everything but not as much as we used to so all the canned food and everything that we have i almost started trying to couple recipes and everything for it because it's like it's time to do that cleaning out part so and now i'm gonna do i'm going to add some of the rest of the rotisserie chicken we were calling each other names playing last night is that right uh-huh and the last two that were winning were mine, my last one, and Daddy's last one. Oh, wow. This was my last one before Daddy's. Before Daddy won, this was my last one. You toilet full of poop. Don't say that on live. Don't say that on live. That's not nice. I'll tell you later. Yeah, you need to tell me later. That's not what we ha we here for, are we? Mm -mm. No. If they were family friendly, we don't talk like that, do we? Sorry. That's okay. I apologize for that. I have no idea whether they come up with that mess. So I cut some chicken. I put that in here, and I have some bacon left over. So we're gonna cut some bacon. I can say her mom and dad work in a warehouse, so I'm pretty sure they hear all kinds of stuff. And I know <laughs> Gary probably does too, where he works at. So, oh, you're kidding me. It flew right into the floor. <laughs> Bacon is flying, so I guess pigs fly in one way, shape, or form. <laughs> we were also talking, uh, we need to. Uh, they're cereals. Is that right? Yeah, Dad called me a Fruit Loop. A Fruit Loop? He also called me an Apple Jack, and I said, he called me an Apple Jack. And then we all started. So, mix all that together. Uh, 
I'm going to take it and put it in a casserole dish. La, la, la. Casserole. If I can say it. So I'm going to try to sit here so y'all can see what it looks like as I put it in here. Did anybody else watch the Puff Wolf Adventure Hour last night? I don't know. Does anybody have stuffies? Yeah. Do I have this in a casserole dish? I do I have any, I don't have any breadcrumbs. So what you could do is if you had crackers, like let's say we're using up stuff that um I'm trying to see. That we don't eat a lot anymore. And crackers is one of them. So and I will stick this into the toaster oven. Because what I'm going to do. I'm going to take this. Slice of cheese. Put on top and let that melt. All right, so that's going to melt for a little bit. And then we have some chicken left over, which will be for taco night tonight. So while they have regular, regular tacos, I'll have a chicken taco. Hi, Cruz and Scene. How you doing? Hi, Marissa. Hi, Jonathan Zuck. It's 1240. It's 1240. Hi, Zuck. <laughs> so, um, let me put this. Uh, can you put that away, please? Yeah. And we're going to move this. And then she's going to do something for y'all. Hmm? I think. Maybe. We'll see. Cool. I think Nana needs to help you with it, though. A sponsor? Mm -hmm. Is it our sponsor? Your sponsor? Mm -hmm. Who's our sponsor? Today's sponsor is Chisels. It's Chisels? Mm -hmm. Watch out. Take your flag out. Don't knock that big of a knife. I know what knife I'm going to do. Okay, but let me cut it in half for you no. so you can... I want to cut it in half. You want to try cutting it in half? This is my first time ever cutting a watermelon. You want to ruin it. All right. She is going to cut a watermelon for y'all. I don't know what... With parent and super... Well, grandma supervision. How about that? I'm using this one. Okay, but I don't think that's going to be long enough to... Shh. Hmm? Shh. I know what I'm doing. I need yeah. this All right, you go get your stool. I got the chair. All right. I still snacking at everyone. All righty. <laughs> Hi, LB. How you doing? Hi, LB. Okay, you can't cut it like that. You cannot cut it like that. Okay? You have to cut. stop and listen. You got to cut the end off first. Oh. Okay? See, this isn't going to be a big... Here, let me help you. Let me. No, 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 no. I'm going to use this knife. Nice. So now you try it like this. Are you going to try to cut it? Let go! And everybody's going, oh my god! Scream! Stop. No. Okay, for some reason that's not working. So what you do? The other end off. You gotta cut the other end. Okay, okay, now I cut it. Now you can try to cut it. Watch your thumb. How do you hold things? I do believe I have turned the knife red. There's a really big secret here. Stop. All right. There must be a really big secret. A really big seed right there. Oh, 
Oh, now. Now let's see more. All right. Now let's see more. Let's I, I, you're holding the knife wrong. I'm trying to show you how to do it. See, oh, stop. This is a big knife. Hang on. Hang on what? Just give me a moment. Stop. Okay, help. I want to cut into triangles. You want to cut into triangles? Yeah. Take the point of your knife, go down, and you let the knife work for you. Okay? Yeah, I was cutting them to half circles. Yeah. And then there's your triangles. And I cannot ever curve my fingers like they say to do to cut. There we go. All right. Great job on trying to how to cut that watermelon. Good watermelon. We, go. we got the watermelon cut up. Want a triangle? I'll eat one in just a moment. So there we go. We got that. This is in there. I remember for that episode too. I you remember? remember? I remember for that episode too. You and when they brought when they brought watermelon watermelon to the tea party. You did. So give that a few more minutes. So today's lunch is a different type, type of mac and cheese. We dressed it up. We put some vegetables in it with some turkey bacon and some chicken. And we cut up watermelon for dessert. So I still have some other watermelon and uh, pineapple left over um, with the raisins and the cranberries. And I've been using those to make a smoothie. That turned out really good. How'd you cry, Auntie Ellen? How you doing? So. There's a bite for everybody for a piece of watermelon. And a piece of watermelon to you, too. <laughs> oh, my goodness. She is so funny. So, tomorrow, I will be making bread. So. Y'all stay tuned for that. Because I've been wanting, since I have raisins, I'm going to want some raisin bread. And I've been looking at different recipes and everything, and I have an idea how I want to do it. Maybe a little bit different than what, um, just putting it in a loaf pan and baking it. All right, I'll take a bite. Hmm. Me and Dad are going to have some watermelon. Yep, that dripped all over me. <laughs> that is a juicy watermelon. Me and Dad are going to have some juicy watermelon later. I like sharing watermelon with my dad. All right. So. Oh, yeah. This turned out so good. Yeah, I'm going to come up with a, a new dance. It's going to be called the slide, which is a different kind of slide than what you used to do. Oh, my goodness. Watch out. This is hot. So, this is kind of sort of big mac. This is my mac and cheese all dressed up with all kinds of goodies inside of it. I'm not putting the link to chisels in the chat. Watch out, this is hot. This just came out of the oven. It might not be the big oven, but it's still an oven. Oh, here she goes. Don't you put that. No, don't you dare. <laughs> I said no. Sorry. Then you behave. I'm sorry. I was just trying to have fun. I know you're trying to have fun, but chisels.com is not a real place. It is. To you it is. And we cannot promote that like that. So, I'm not going to put that in the 
pin that. What you doing? You getting your watermelon? Oh my goodness, she is so funny. Hi, Barry. How you doing? Hi. Hi. Yeah, this is how she is. This is us all the time. So every time I go to do something, she's trying to do. She's typing in something else. I tell her to wait. She goes, "Hold on, listen to me all the way through." We can learn a lesson from that with the kids. Because if we remember, we were that way too when we were growing up. You know, listen to what we had to say. The kids see things that adults don't see. Or we just don't want to see. I mean, that's about it. You know, because as we grow up, you know, it's like we don't, not supposed to stare and look and everything else. And then you go into a job that you're supposed to stare and look and everything else. And then it's like, when you retire from it, it's like, do I really want to see it anymore? Not really. But then you have a kid or a granddaughter that goes, look over there. Look over there. So it's like, oh, my gosh. Looky, 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 looky. So then you have to look. Look it, look it, look it. What's off? Yeah, yeah. So, I know. So the cheese is nice and melted. We got extra cheese. We got some. New mac and cheese. Hi, Rio. Hi, Storms Rio. And cats. Spring up for me. <laughs> I don't think anybody can ever forget you, darling. Spring up for me for my first life ever. Because I ring up for And here we go. Here is lunch. Hmm. Yeah, I'm telling you, I got extra. <laughs> if we always cook like that, extras. You know, and I don't know how hard we try to sit there and downsize on cooking or whatever, it never fails. We always have extras. So that's what it's like. So we started doing grocery shopping once a month. It's working out okay for me. I don't know about anybody else because I still have plenty. Huh? Not for me. Not for you. How come? I can only have my sauce on like once every two weeks. Well, she loves salsa. Oh, my goodness. So, they get the um the big packs from Sam's Club. I want to say Picante, but I don't know if it's Picante or the other one. And then um, Frito's. The scoops with the Fritos, and she'll have that for a snack, and then she'll go, it's hot, it's hot. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Hi, nature lovers. So, here we got some bacon with it and some mac and cheese. There's a turkey bacon. Mm-hmm. I don't know if I thought that, but I have it for my dinner. Well, we'll see. But yeah, I was like, let's do something different with mac and cheese. Mac and cheese is good, plain, but they add some other things to it. And you could put peas and carrots or corn and, you know, that's another starch. But, um, oh, Asparagus would be good in there. Put some asparagus, uh, chop that up, have it cooked spears, chop that up, put it in there, and then put it as a casserole. And you can put, um, even with, with the mac and cheese, if you had leftover ground hamburger and everything, that's your own hamburger helper and everything. Hey, Ava, how you doing? So I was like, it's so many different ways you can take mac and cheese and use it and do it differently. Um, because when we started, when my son was working and my daughter-in-law was home and we lived at the other place, we would do all kinds of different things at nighttime for dinner and everything. Just, you know, to change it up because you know, the same old thing is boring. You know, so we did, um, uh, that's when we started doing baked mac and cheese and everything. And we had the breadcrumbs on the top and all. So, I mean, I had the, I think about it. I think we have the, um, panko crumbs. So I could put you could put that on there, or you can make your own breadcrumbs to put that on there, and then um. 
we had we used Nana's table. That's the desk table over there as a dinner table. That's what we used. No. Nope. No. We used that wooden, that little wooden, that wooden wooden shelf at the table. <laughs> we have a wooden shelf that's downstairs. It's like a in. It's not an end table. It's like a coffee table. And until we, you know, you use things that you have until you get the the exact thing that you need. And when we use that as a um, um, dining table. We sit around there and put stuff on it and eat. <laughs> and then um, I got this, I got a dust and we use that as a nice size dust though. We use that as a dining table. But everybody kept hitting their knees underneath. Because <laughs> here's the table and then the chairs. Here's the bottom of the table and it has the drawers in it. But the chairs underneath, your knees touch the drawers. So it's like, so I sit there, but I have the drawers up against the wall, so they don't keep sliding in and out. You know, but, but the one mystery is hiding those drawers. Huh? The one mystery is hiding those drawers. I have to find out. What mysteries are in those drawers? It's probably just paper. Nope. And pens. We have to find out. You have to find out. I'm not pulling that table out. Not until we get a house and we move. <laughs> oh my goodness! It's today. Come on. It's today. Uh, if they was moving day, we're sure not ready. Because I told us the well, next time we move, we're moving to a house. Look, you know what? that we're ready. Er. Oh, she's trying to pull that table. Look. Yeah, that's too many things You're on the table. I did see you. No, just watch on the way. <laughs> she does that. You're not watching. You're not watching. Watch all the way. So, but you know what? I remember doing that too as a child. So, uh, uh, what I did last night, I turned the, at seven o'clock. I just like I turned the computer off, put the phone on, put the phone down, and didn't post anything. Then, you know look at anybody's lives last night so on my community tab I said I'm sorry last night was a night of a break Anastasia wanted to watch videos and watch a movie I told her we would it was a celebration of school being over like, yeah so we get a reprieve for a little while because I'm not looking to fourth grade mm -mm. no I had enough of third grade what they were trying to teach them and Teaching them to write essays and papers, and I was like, "Oh my Teaching goodness, I'm not looking to my story." Teaching us how to be citizens. Well, you should always learn how to be a citizen. But they were trying to teach them how to make a business plan and everything with a lemonade stand, and I'm just it's like, "They are thing. nine years old. Some little man want to do that, and most of them just don't forget it." I'm to some kids, there's only one important business. Da -da -da -da. Lemonade stands. That? Lemonade stands. Oh, lemonade stands. But, you know, but I do know some states that you have to have a business license to have a lemonade stand. And I'm just like, that's just so wrong. <laughs> All the way around. But I was just like, I, I've taught her how to count money and about dimes, quarters, nickels, pennies, all that, and everything. So, oh, I remember. You remember what? This one time, I was counting how many dollar bills were in my piggy bank. I had two ones and one five. You don't tell people how much money you have. <laughs> right there, and then I said I have three dollar bills, and you kept saying no, you have seven. I I was counting how many bills I have. I wasn't counting how much they cost. So if you understand that, she was counting how many actual paper bills she had, not counting up how much that the amount was to. So I kept telling her how much it was. She goes, no, I only had three. I'm like, no, you got more than that. So I finally understood what she was saying. But she she was she was right. She had at least three paper dollar bills and what they added up to was a different amount yeah you were adding the money Mom, <laughs> <laughs> goodness 
So yeah, um, that's you know, I just that's what I did last night. I just turned the computer off. I wasn't on the phone with any channel or anything. And I was like, I needed a break also. So we sat there and watched with puns that were tangled last night. So that was really cool. And you know, you know when you know you're not really paying attention and you're doing other things and everybody else was watching the movie and and then you need to sit your phone down because there's certain scenes that you forget you miss and everything. So it was pretty cool to sit there and like, and then I've heard it. this, i heard it, and I've seen, you know, when you look up and you see it and then you go back to what you're doing. But to sit there and actually watch the movie through, that was pretty cool. What about Ariel's Beginnings? And then Ariel's Beginnings, that was a good one too. So if y'all haven't seen Tell that. I love every part of it. I'm not telling everybody every but part of it. This is not a movie review. <laughs> it is now. By Order of the Boss. By Order of the Boss. You know, we just had fun watching movies and everything last night. So I was like, and that I slept so good last night. I was like, yes. Finally. Because <laughs> I didn't get up till 9 o'clock this morning. We didn't have to be up at 8 o'clock. 7.30, 8 o'clock. So I was like, are we going to be sleeping in every day? I'm like, mm-hmm, yes, we can sleep in every day. So, you know, we just like night owls, people, you know. We do our things. We're in other people's lives. Now, tonight is DJ's Cartoon Universe uh, with Eddie, Devil Dog, me, Anastasia, and Al, Al Chafe, my back step. And we'll do a cartoon review tonight. And then the second hour is... Um, Scooby -Doo. Well, Scooby -Doo. Scooby -Doo. Scooby -Doo. Scooby Doo. Scooby Doo. Yep. So the second hour, the first hour is going to be my little, my little pet shop, and then it's Scooby Doo, and then in a couple of weeks, the second hour will be Mash. So we change that up. Did yeah. Mash? No, this is a show that you don't even know about. Oh. <laughs> it's going to be adult time. So the beginning will be um, yeah. cartoons, and then the second hour is adult time. So I'll, that's when I put the head up phones on if it's not a cartoon that she can watch. So we have fun doing that. And then Rita's Roost, she's been going live at nighttime also doing quilting and everything. And that is so much fun. And I was like, I didn't even get to go. I didn't go last night. I didn't even post her. Mona's in here. She does sewing to a few other people. And I'm just like, the arts and crafts. I was like, nope. I didn't even crochet. I didn't do anything last night. Except and I watch the movie. Except to watch the Tell movie with about, Anastasia. Tell them about Ariel's Beginning, please. Okay, Ariel's Beginning is to, it talks. I said Ariel's. No, you said Ariel's. Beginnings is about what happened to her, their mom and how. Um, the music came about back into um, Atlantica. So that's a pretty cool little movie. I know it's Disney. I just and people that. don't like Disney. They don't like what they stand for. And I'm quite sure. I can tell more. Stop. I am quite sure that um, Mr. Walt Disney is rolling over in his grave. But, you know, there's just some things you just still pray about and just keep on going. Yes, ma'am. I want to tell him. I can tell him more about Ariel's beginnings. All right, you tell him more about Ariel's beginnings. You meet her sisters. There's um, I forgot some of their names, but they all start with an A. I can tell you that. Yeah. <laughs> her father, well, her father had a dark heart when her when his queen died, mm -hmm. where she got crushed by rocks, trying to save her music box. That was an anniversary gift. And then music was forbidden, and and then when it was bedtime for the princesses, well, uh, before that, Ariel was tickling one of her sisters with seaweed. Is that right? Mm -hmm. Can you hand me that water, please? Yeah. After the walk, after mm -hmm. their walk, they um, after the morning walk. With all the sisters and King Trine and Sebastian. King Trine had Ariel do barnacles because he saw her to play another princess with seaweed. 
They also introduced two new characters. Is that right? Uh huh. You remember those characters' names? Marina Del Rey. Marina Del Rey. And Benjamin. Benjamin. It's so funny because the songs are in there. It's like oh, my name well, is a mistake. All right, some songs are new, but the one the Maria Del Rey, she sings a song, and I was like, I know that song. And you go to look for it, and it's <laughs> like, you've heard that song. It's from a musical or a Broadway show and everything, and then Google doesn't have it. And I was like, well, Maria Del Rey is actually a place and everything, and I actually found it through watching my emergency series, because I have the whole set of... Um, Emergency, and so um, one of the spots they had to go help save somebody who drove the car off the pier by accident was Maria Del Rey. So when that episode came through, I said, Anastasia, come here. So I stopped it and we wound it. I said, Listen to where they're going. And sure enough, when she heard it, she goes, Nina, that's a place. And I'm like, Yes, that's a place. <laughs> I don't remember any of that. Hi, Vita. How you doing? Hi. A straw that breaks the camel's back. I wasn't in your live last night because I, I took a break. A I shut everything break. down and okay. Anastasia and I watched some break. movies last night. <laughs> School's break. out no, and we celebrated. Remember what her song was? That was her song. Draw the break the candles back a teeny dip the tiny crack. <laughs> okay. Whenever we're a point, all I need is one mistake. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness, that's so hilarious because her daddy is the same way. He can listen to a song uh, as he's listening to a song or he can hear one song and that he knows it. And it's like, oh my goodness. And the one that gets me is the commercial. Your know, hands can do so many things. I can't sing it because I'm on community strike. But um, yeah, if y'all remember that, it's your hands can do so many things. Da 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 da. da. And he was her age when that thing came out, and he just sung right through it. I was like, "You rascal!" <laughs> he gets it there and take that song, and he still sings that song today. And it's like, oh my gosh, that commercial is so old. <laughs> Oh, um, we're doing good. I got a much needed break last night. Everything uh, turned off all the. I had people's channels running, but I just turned off the computer and was on the phone. And her and I had a good time. Uh-huh. We had a good time eating popcorn and watching movies. Oh, yes. We came downstairs. We made popcorn and melted some butter and put some butter and salt on the popcorn. So we had. There was a big chunk of butter. I, I was in a hurry, so like half the butter melted, the other half didn't. So I just took that chunk of butter, like about that much, just stuck it in the popcorn. It's about this much. It's about this much. And I picked it up, and I and I didn't know it was butter, so I handed it to Grandma. She said, You don't want all that butter? And I was like, This is butter? Oh, I understand, Lita. I know, because it's like. By the time I'm sitting there and it's like 11 o'clock and we're talking and I feel, if I get quiet, y'all know I'm tired because I'll sit there fighting not to go to sleep. Because I'll sit there in the chair at like 5 o'clock or so in the afternoon and the evening I'm sitting there waiting for them to cook dinner or whatever and I'm sitting there doing this and then my head goes down. I'm like, okay, this is not good. So, but we had a blast last night and then, you know, I told her we'll be doing different things during the week and everything. And then um, we'll do the lunch lives also just so that, you know, just to change it up a little bit. Because, like I said, I have SD card problems again. So I was just like, this is irritating. What I'm going to do, I'm going to take everything off. That SD card is in the phone, in this phone. And uh, transfer it and then just wipe that one clean and see if I can get it to work. I don't know. Well, like yesterday, this is hilarious. So I'm sitting here. I came downstairs to fix my dinner. And I've got the phone in my hand and I get a notification. So I look to see what the notification is. And it says, 
you have taken your SD card has been taken out unsafely. I'm like, what? I like it's it's in my hand, and I'm like, what the world? See, this thing's messing up now. I'm like, what in the world? I'm like, I didn't touch anything. I didn't. It didn't drop. It. Didn't, I didn't put it down. It was in my hand. <laughs> my son goes, you shook your phone too hard. I'm like. How do you shake your phone too hard? That doesn't do anything. I think it's in a slot, secured. I'm like, I didn't drop my phone. He goes, you must have did something. I'm like, no, it's just the phone being weird. <laughs> I was like, oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah, you know, usually sleep by 10. I'm just like, there's some nights, you know, because she spends time with her mom and dad and everything. Well, they had to go to sleep for work the next day, so we'll stay up a little bit. She's such a good kid, you know. It's hard, you know. You say no, and then, you know, when they're good, you just kind of say yes. <laughs> but she is, she is really a great child. She does not give us any hard times. She behaves, you know. She doesn't cause trouble. She, does, you know, she does what she's told to do and everything. She helps me out a hundred percent of the time and everything. So she comes in like eight o'clock or something like tonight, but eight o'clock it'd be watch Paw Patrol, like sure, because you know that to me there ain't nothing else on TV anyway. I mean, we could watch some old shows, but let's not her be a kid while well, she's a kid, huh? Paw Patrol is your favorite. Also, I don't know if we, yeah, if you type home or stuffy in the chat. Stuffy. Type stuffy. Type stuffy or home. No, I hope stuffy. It will drop your link. Just hey, Randy, how you doing? It should still do that whether I'm on Streamyard or not. Now this don't. Yeah, there you go. If y'all type home or stuffy in the link, it will drop your link type in the stuffy. chat. Type stuffy, not home. Type stuffy. So when she yell, uh, you know. She's like, can I watch Paw Patrol? And I'm just like, yeah, before I know it, it's like 11 o'clock at night. So, yeah, Rita, we're off late because <laughs> I just lose track of time. <laughs> or I'll be in the live and whatever. But, you know, even not even being alive or anything oh, else, that's just that's just normal. We just do. stay up late and we do stuff. We have something in class kit to do. We do? What in class click? <laughs> I think Mrs. R has a fun activity for us to do. Okay, we'll see that in a little bit. Arabella, Arabella, and PJ Lewis were doing that while we were having our talk with Mrs. Dresher. No, Mrs. Dresher, your teacher told them to do stuff they haven't done yet and to catch so up she with. She said, do what's, on, do what's on the screen. Mm hmm. So, and that was to do the work they hadn't done yet. And so their the kids that said to complete the fun thing class kick activity, Mrs. Mrs. Ricola said. All right, we'll go check it out in just a few minutes. But there was she was talking about that in class one day. The teacher said there was one student that hadn't was nineteen things they hadn't done and they were behind. I'm just like What? What no is how do you not do that? You know? It, I'm like, okay, that comparing that little learning, learning kite is just not paying attention. Things, <laughs> nineteen things they hadn't done. Yeah, and that's what you told me. She said there was nineteen things that they had not done. So I was like, oh my goodness gracious, that's just unbelievable. But I was like, mm hmm. Like I said, we're just a late night, late night people. I've always been that way. We stayed up late. Slept in like not early birds. <laughs> no matter how hard I try, I do have had jobs that I had to be up at four or five o'clock in the morning to get to work, and it was like I was dragging. But I was like, it was all right, you know. Did those? That's when I was an EMT, and we worked those twelve-hour shifts. I'm gonna tell you when I got home, by eight o'clock, we're in the bed because you know, cream. That time and time you get up was not much time. But it was fun. I enjoyed doing that. But yeah, even as a kid, you know. I... Okay, it's time 
for my fortune cylinder. We yeah, um stayed up late. So let me choose someone. I'm gonna choose Jonathan. So after my leg. Jonathan, how do you feel about sports? Oh, that's uh no one likes sports. <laughs> You know, How about your peppers? I pulled out a black one. That means you don't like <laughs> So the black one means you don't like sports. <laughs> okay. Next up, I'm choosing the budget preppers. How do you feel about peppers? Mm. Ooh. We use Via Life. Um vegan dairy free tea this is the slices okay. we got the shreds i pulled out the bead and it's ooh, you like spicy peppers oh i'm quite sure they like spicy peppers okay. so be life there's dye there's be life there's follow your heart there's um miyoko's you know it's, everybody has a different way they make those cheeses that's the brand that we use we like it because it melts just like regular cheese. And it tastes just like regular cheese. This is my beads. My fortune beads. Uh oh. My fortune beads. So that's what we use. Now we did start off with Dia and Dia had back then this is back in 2013. So the brand has you know they kinda of like tweaked it a little bit. They had a like a like a talky aftertaste. But um they I think they done fixed that because they picked up Dia. So, but, um, you know, Follow Your Heart has one. Via Life is what we use. We've used Follow Your Heart. You know, Follow Your Heart has a um, Parmesan cheese that we like, and it's really good. Grandma. Yes, ma'am. Somebody asked the question, so I had to answer it. So. Not a fan of diet. Yeah, I know. <laughs> how do you feel about our channel? Who's this to? You. Me? <laughs> Don't, don't. You're not supposed to look. I'm not supposed to look. Okay, I'm not supposed to look. And you love our channel. Oh, I hope I love our channel. You love our channel. <laughs> Next up, Rita's Roost. Okay, what's her question? So, Rita, how much do you like crocheting? She says, I don't know if I told you to crochets or not. How much do you like to sew? <laughs> yeah. Follow Your Heart has the best sour cream. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they have that. Um. You love to sew. All right. She loves to sew. Mona, how much do you like to sew? Watch out. How much does Mona like to grow? Like to sew? Wait, is Mona still in here? Uh-huh. Mona! Mona, yes. Mona, Mona, Mona. Just Mona. Listening and, um, Mona. Mona, this is your fortune question now. Let's see. So, Kai Hill has come out with, they've got cream cheese. She likes the tutti fruity, tutti, 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 tutti fruity, fruity or something. It's, tutti fruity. Is that the name? No, I'm no, but it's something like that. I felt looking up. This stuff's expensive. This brand's expensive. The other one's not. She doesn't like this one because it's not as creamy or it's too creamy. Uh, no, it's the it, taste. The, no, it tastes rough. <laughs> it, tastes, it does kind of have like a gritty grit. Oh, yeah, to it. Whereas the other brand, um, it was a yellow. It was a yellow. It had yellow on the label and everything, but they changed it to blue. And um, yeah, the other one she likes is it's like cream cheese. So there is stuff that we can eat that we use that's vegan and dairy free and all, so that we can make stuff like we want to make. Oh, I'm the only one uh, dairy free person in the house. I struggle to get through a whole containers before it goes bad. I understand. So I understand. So um now Ellen um 
Ellen Abundant Life from last. If you got her channel, she used to be. She was vegan and she changed to vegetarian. So she's kind of like on the border there. But she does get the vegan no, cheeses, vegan. the shreds. And she says she has frozen them. And she goes, they still, when she unthaws them, they still just as good as when if she bought them. So if you have any, Ellen's a good one to ask questions about that too. The question for you, all right, Anastasia, Jonathan has a question for you. What's the question? How Jonathan? much wood could a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? Hmm. Yeah, that's a tongue twister. Yeah. <laughs> you cannot put your Eight. pressure on my leg. Eight. Mm. Plant based occasionally and some green ground turkey burgers. Mm hmm. Um, eight. Well, you would say all of it. How all much would a wood chuck chuck a chuck? All of it. 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 Oh my goodness. <laughs> all right. So go get your lunch. Yeah. I want to show everybody what you have for lunch. Can I finish my lunch in Molly's dance room? Yes. Let me clean up my beads. Yeah, you gotta clean up your beads. Let me oh, clean up my beads. Like, All right. So she's having leftover sloppy joes it's and some turkey bacon. And I'm like, oh, look at that. And I'm like, oh my goodness. My heart just hurts because <laughs> I can't have it. Like I said, I could use ground turkey to make sloppy joes, but it's the tomatoes and the peppers that flare up my inflammation, especially my arthritis in this thumb. And it's like in the last few days, you know, I've had the potatoes and everything and this thumb. It's like a squeaky door. It is like slips in and out of joint. And I was like, oh my goodness, I gotta lay off of it again. And then she had regular mac and cheese that I made for her. And then I took mac and the rest of it and I dressed it up. I and it's some carrots and some butter beans. And then so I took some chicken that we had left over and a couple pieces of turkey bacon. Put it in the casserole, heat it up, put a slice of the veal life cheese on it, let that melt. And there we go. This. Tell them about that like book. Here we go. Y'all have a bite. Tell them about the book I'm making. And then she is making a book about. It's called the Ultimate. The ultimate sleepover book. So she was so fun. Last Sunday night, she was asking people who were at the live what kind of games to have at a sleepover. No, not what kind of things, just sleepover ideas. Sleepover ideas. And activities. And activities. So she's got like 40, 40 of them now. So she's. No, I have, how many do you have now? Um, I think I have. She's got 67 ideas for a sleepover. So, <laughs> like, oh my goodness. So that was one of the things we were talking about. She goes, Nana, can we do these ideas? And I'm like, yes, we can do those ideas. So we did one of those last night. Let's watch movies. Hello. So, but. I made popcorn. And made popcorn. Here, you guys want to see my list? And then we have. Let me show you my list. Watermelon for dessert. There we go. Like I said, oh yeah, I got plenty. I got plenty of leftovers. I got a whole pan. <laughs> I was like, oh my goodness. So you use leftovers to make more food and you have leftovers. And it's like, okay, so we're working on that too. We're working through the stuff that we have here already that needs to be used up and everything. And I was like, I got six months of ideas. We're gonna be doing a lot of a lot of cooking. She's going to get her buck. My fingernails. Just my ideas. It's split, not split, but I don't know. All right, you got your ideas. All right, so we're not gonna go through all these right now. Please just stop. All right, we got watch movies, play board games, tell jokes, tell stories, matching PJs. 
So that's where the sewing comes into play. So I need to get with Mona and we got to learn how to sew because I've got to make, make these matching PJs. Have a pillow fight. Play dress up. Stay up all night. Stay up all night. Y'all hear that one? Truth or dare. Promise or repeat. Take selfies. Bake something. Face mask. Paint fingernails. Pin the tail on the donkey. Make a recipe. Do makeup. Friendship bracelets. Mad loves. Play with squishies. Blind makeover. Make popcorn. Spa treatments. Make a blank blanket fort. Hot cocoa. Food taste test. Oversized shirts. Loud music. Get lots of sweets. Right. Sweets and ice cream. Spill the tea. Lots of gossip. Sing karaoke. Try not to laugh. Make a handshake. Treasure hunt. Cook anything. Have a picnic. Hide and seek. Truth and uh, truth and a lie. Two truths Four and a lie. Flores lava. Two truths and a lie. One last shot. Play your plan your future together. Play would you rather. Make pizzas. Hang out in a hammock. Name that tune. Make cute innovations. Innovations. No, it's not cute innovations. Make a make party snacks. That's, it's make cute invitations. Cute invitations. Plan lots of activities. Play video games. Timeless movie night. Host a glow stick dinner. Do post-it notes. Dreaming talent show. Morning waffle. Or pancake. Or pancake bar. Play with Steffi's indoor campout tea party. What's in your sleepover bag? Box. A box. A box. Play match. What is play? Let's play mash. Mash is a game. It's a game. Okay. Read magazines or books. S'mores, drawing contests, fashion show, good temporary tattoos, fortune teller, Not and well, we have a lot of stuff to do. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yep. So, there we go. I want to say that is a lot of things to do. So, we got to have a busy summer. Well, we thank y'all for coming. And I hope y'all enjoyed the fun and laughs and the foods. And tomorrow is breads. Hmm, what kind of breads will I be making? You never know. So, anything y'all want to say? If you haven't left this morning, ring that bell for no occasion. We'll see you guys on our treasure home. All right, let me pray before we leave. And what are you doing? We're we going. Okay, so we're gonna pray real, real quick before everybody leaves, and have a good afternoon. So, dear Lord, we thank you for this day. We thank you for everybody that's coming, that's coming to the chat, and everybody that'll watch later on. We thank you for them being here with us and enjoying the time together and the fellowship. You say, with two or three or more, I gather in your name. There you are also. And I pray for everyone today that as they go out today, that they'll find the blessings and favor of God all over them, no matter what they do. And bless as we go in and bless as we go out. And then may God shine his face upon y'all and glorify his name. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, everybody. Hey, Alfonso. Off the hook. Huh? Oh, no, that's Alfonso's <laughs> <laughs> Oh, we got stuff we got to do, and everybody else has got stuff to do. Oh, Alfonso's here. Where are we going from? What up to Alfonso? You got a mouthful of food. That's not polite to talk like that. So, everybody have a wonderful afternoon. God bless. Stay safe. We love you. And we'll see you tomorrow. Oh, maybe tonight, if y'all come to DJ's Cartoon Universe tonight to see the cartoon review, we'll see you tonight. We'll see you later. See you later, everyone. See you later, Alfonso. Wait. Uh. <coughs>